Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, told the Summit for the Future at the United Nations Monday that his country supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the secondary summit moving forward with our partners, Zelensky said. We are working on food security, energy security, and holding Russia accountable for its terror. The Pact for the Future, approved by the General Assembly on Sunday, aims to meet the challenges of the 21st century and unite the world's divided nations to move quickly to implement the agreement's 56 actions. Russia proposed an amendment that would have significantly watered down the agreement. Only six countries supported Russia Iran, Belarus, North Korea, Nicaragua, Sudan and Syria. Fifteen countries abstained. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future. Zelensky said. It's important that the world is working to develop a shared vision for the best future for humanity. As soon as such collective efforts begin, true interests are always revealed. Ukraine supports efforts to keep all nations united, safe and strictly adhere to the UN Charter. This time during the work on the Pact for the Future, the same small group of seven accomplices led by Russia has once again acted destructively, always opposing any global initiatives that strengthen the effectiveness of the UN Charter. We are now preparing for the Second Peace Summit, moving forward with our partners step by step according to the peace formula and we are working on food security energy security and holding russia accountable for its terror we will address all other points of the peace formula including the release of prisoners the restoration of territorial integrity and more and we are preparing a document to present at the Second Peace Summit. I invite all leaders nations to continue supporting our joint efforts for a just and peaceful future. Putin has stolen much already, but he will never steal the world's future, I'm sure. I thank Representative Matt Cartwright a Democrat who was among those who met with Zelensky at the Scranton Army Ammunition Plant, said the president had a simple message, thank you. And we need more. The Scranton plant is one of the few facilities in the country to manufacture 155mm artillery shells and has increased production over the past year. Ukraine has already received more than 3 million of them from the US Zelensky said he expressed his gratitude to all the employees at the plant. It is in places like this where you can truly feel that the democratic world can prevail, he wrote on X, thanks to people like these in Ukraine, in America, and in all partner countries who work tirelessly to ensure that life is protected. Zelensky's visit kicked off a busy week in the United States. He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris as he seeks to shore up support for Ukraine. So this is how we receive our steel. Every rail car can hold 200,000 pounds of steel. If we bring steel in by truck, our cars will come in, they'll be 20 feet long, and then we have approximately 2,000 pounds. We're getting a lot of heat
you said that 400 people work here, but I wanted very much to come here and to thank you. 400 people saved millions of Ukrainians because of the result of your work. I'm very thankful just from ordinary Ukrainians to you. And what can I say? Thank you so much. You helped us to survive against Putin invasion. And thanks to your families and God bless everything will be very good with your families and with you. God bless America and Slava Ukraini. Thank you again very much for everything, guys. Thank you.